Hi, I'm Mike, and today I'm going to introduce to you PHP Frameworks. PHP programmers will often turn to a PHP framework to compose their code. In this video, we will explore what PHP frameworks are and why they are used. But before we get too far, I want to let you know that there will be links to more resources in the video's description below. And remember, subscribe and ring that bell to get notifications for future helpful content. So, let's get started. A PHP framework is a platform to create PHP web applications. PHP frameworks provide code libraries for commonly used functions, cutting down on the amount of original code you need to write. There are many good reasons for using PHP frameworks as opposed to coding from scratch. Because PHP frameworks have built-in libraries and tools, the time required for development is less. For example, the Cake PHP framework has the bake command line tool, which can quickly create any skeleton code that you need in your application. Several popular PHP frameworks have the PHP unit library integrated for easy testing. Using functions that are built into the framework means that you don't need to write as much original code. Many tasks that developers need to do within apps are common ones. Examples are from validation, data sanitization, and CRUD operations create, read, update, and delete. Rather than having to write your own functions for these tasks, you can simply use the ones that are part of the framework. PHP frameworks usually follow coding best practices. For example, they divide code neatly into a number of directories according to function. They force you to organize code in a cleaner, neater, and more maintainable way. Frameworks also have their own naming conventions for entities which you should follow. There are many PHP security threats, including cross-site scripting, SQL injection attacks, and cross-site request forgery. Unless you take the right steps to secure your code, your PHP web apps will be vulnerable. Using a PHP framework is not a substitute for writing secure code, but it minimizes the chance of hacker exploits. Good frameworks have data sanitization built in and defenses against the common threats I've already mentioned. Projects with multiple developers can go wrong if there isn't clarity on documentation, design decisions, and code standards. Using a framework sets clear ground rules for your project. Even if another developer isn't familiar with the framework, they should be able to quickly learn the ropes and work collaboratively. PHP frameworks encourage refactoring of code and promote dry development, or don't repeat yourself. The resulting leaner code base needs less maintenance. You also don't have to worry about maintaining the core framework as that's done for you by the developers. The first thing you need to know before using a PHP framework is PHP itself. If you don't have a good command of the language, you will struggle to pick up a framework. Most frameworks run with PHP version 7.2 or later. If you need to brush up on your PHP, you should check out some of the articles we've linked in the description below. Next, you should have built some PHP applications of your own, so you have a clear understanding of what's required on the front end and back end. Knowing object-oriented PHP is also a must, as most modern PHP frameworks are object-oriented. Make sure you understand concepts like classes, objects, inheritance, methods, traits, and access modifiers. Since many web apps connect to a database, you should know about databases and SQL syntax. Each PHP framework has its own list of subordinated databases. Understanding an object relational mapping model is useful. ORM is a method of accessing database data using object-oriented syntax instead of using SQL. This means you can write your database queries in familiar PHP, although there may be some times where you want to use SQL. Many PHP frameworks have their own ORM built in. For example, Laravel uses the eloquent ORM. Others use an open source ORM like Doctrine. Understanding how web servers like Apache and Nginx work is helpful. You may also need to configure files on the server for your app to work optimally. You will probably do much of your development locally, so you need to know about localhost too. Another option is to create and test your app in a virtual environment using Vagrant and VirtualBox. PHP frameworks typically follow the Model View Controller, or MVC, design pattern. This concept separates the manipulation of data from its presentation. The model stores the business logic and application data. It passes data to the view, the presentation layer. The user interacts with the view and can input instructions via the controller. The controller gives these commands to the model and the cycle continues. 
In a nutshell, the model is about data, the view is about appearance, and the controller is about behavior. Being comfortable using a command line interface helps when using a PHP framework. Laravel has its own CLI, Artisan Console. Using the make command in Artisan, you can quickly build models, controllers, and other components for your project. Familiarity with the command line is also key to using the Composer PHP Package Manager. The E framework is one of the several which uses Composer to install and manage dependencies, packages which are required for an application to run. Packagist is the main repository of packages that you can install with Composer. Some of the most popular Composer packages run with the Symfony framework. Here are some factors you need to consider when choosing the best PHP framework for your project. Firstly, if you're new to a PHP framework, the learning curve shouldn't be too steep. You don't want to invest precious time in learning a framework if it's too tricky to grasp. Next, you want a framework that's easy to use and saves you time. A PHP framework should meet your technical requirements for a project. Most frameworks will have a minimum PHP version and certain PHP extensions that they work with. Make sure that your framework supports your database of choice and that you can use the framework with the web server that you want to deploy to. Choose a framework with the right balance of features. A feature-rich framework can be helpful for some projects. On the other hand, if you don't need many features, pick a framework that is stripped down and minimal. Some desirable features are testing, cache storage, templating engine, a way to output PHP with an HTML using a PHP class, and security. If you need to build an application that is scalable, select a framework that supports this. Finally, good documentation and support are important so that you can make the most of your PHP framework. A framework with a large and vibrant community is also more likely to stand the test of time and is also able to assist you when you run into difficulties. If you want to reduce your time spent developing your PHP web applications, using a framework is a smart choice. To get the most out of a PHP framework and avoid frustration, make sure that you have a decent knowledge of PHP and understand the underlying concepts behind frameworks, MVC architecture, object-oriented syntax, databases and ORMs, and the command line. Kiss's WordPress hosting can speed up your website by up to 200%, and you'll get 24-7 support from our expert WordPress engineers. Let us show you the Kinsta difference. Try a free demo of our My Kinsta dashboard at demo.kinsta.com. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this.